Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to my Chamber of Chakras and thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for July 2nd, 2024. Titivating Tuesday, everybody. Yes, fine tune the emotional tone that you set yesterday for a spruced up Tuesday to get shit done. Yes, you know what I'm saying, what I'm saying? Tuesday is Mars Day, right? Mars, the red planet of action, energizes us to work out our spiritual muscles, yeah? The Bible says in James 2, 14 through 26, what good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but you don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or a sister who has no food or clothing and you just say goodbye, have a good day, stay warm and eat well, but then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So you see, faith by itself is not enough unless it produces good deeds. It's dead and useless. Now someone may argue, some people have faith, others have good deeds. But I say, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds. I will show you my faith by my good deeds, right? Yes, you say you have faith for you believe that there is one God, good for you. Even the demons believe this and they tremble in terror. How foolish, can't you see that faith without good deeds is useless? Don't you remember that our ancestor Abraham was shown to be right with God by his actions when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see, his faith and his actions work together. His actions made his faith complete. And so it happened just as the scriptures say, Abraham believed God and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. He was even called the friend of God. So you see, we are shown to be right with God by what we do, not by faith alone. Rahab the prostitute is another example. She was shown to be right with God by her actions when she hid those messengers and sent them safely away by a different road. Just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. So prove, prove what you believe by standing up for it and showing your true heart's desire with love and kindness. Yes, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's a quote from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Philippians. Yeah, when I hear that, I visualize myself in a gym on a flat bench press with a barbell on my chest, believing in the power within me to lift the weight off, right? Yeah, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I'm saying yeah picture me in that bench pressing <laughs> the bench press of course that will never happen because I'm a lazy Taurus my physical exercise consists of standing and walking to the curing machine to get my coffee <laughs> no I do more than that I go up and down the stairs for food <laughs> I squat to scoop urgent's poop. <laughs> but enough about my exercise regimen. My point is believing is the push to make 
a leap of faith. Right? You got to believe, Bole. You got to believe. Yes, it's not enough to know you can do it. Your heart has to be in it to win it. Make your mind up and choose to go with what your heart desires, right? Go with what your heart beats for and act on your faith. This is the energy of Mars, right? My natal Mars is in Cancer, the mother of the zodiac wheel. So I put that to the test in this lifetime. I was a warrior mother for my six kids. Ask any of them. Yeah, I was a mother bear in protecting my cubs. Let me tell you, I'm like, <laughs> yes. Then um, in Aries, I have Mercury and Venus. So I'm the initiator of communication and beauty in motherhood. Yes, the nomenclature for that is trendsetter, right? Oh yeah, like my mother, I too was a pioneer. I am a pioneer. I've been producing videos before the internet was invented or born. I have bookcases of VHS tapes that I recorded of my kids growing up, you know, and they're doing what they're just now doing on TikTok and YouTube, right? I put my kids through the online public school program. I'm one of the first to do that, you know, during a time when society frowned upon it, you know, and poo-pooed it. And now it's the new wave of education, right? Trendsetter. Yeah, I like to start things, you know, start something new, something innovative. I mean, when I decided to stop coloring my hair and let the gray grow out, young people started coloring their hair gray. <laughs> Ooh wee, what's up with that? What's up with that? Yes, so vibe with the war god, Mars, the planet of assertiveness. Gets more? In Tagalog, assertiveness for a woman is called mataray. <laughs> yeah, I've been called that derogatory term once or twice. Anywho, we are in the midst of cancer. Where is my glyph? for cancer. All right. <clears throat> Get my visuals here. Okay. The sideways 69, the crab. We're in the midst of cancer season, the start of summer season. When kids are home on school break, vacation time, connecting with loved ones on an emotional level of being sensitive, you know, like, being sensitive to each other's needs for nurturing and serving people platters of TLC, right? Yeah, it's that kind of energy, cancer season. But while the sun, our ego, is in cancer, right? Sensitive, sometimes moody. The moon is in Taurus the bull <laughs> yeah the moon is disappearing in its shadow in the sign of the master builder taurus the bull with its clod hoppers planted firmly on the ground so that our minds and hearts settle down on a solid foundation of earth you dig yeah keep your head up girl keep your head up <laughs> the sun ain't hard to see. Just turn off your TV. Everything around you is just a part of every other thing. I'm a tree. Yes, that's a song by Imani Coppola called I'm a Tree. 
We are all trees anchored firmly on the fertile soil of Mama Gaia with our branches reaching up to the heavens and our leaves clapping in praise and worship for our Lord, our God, right? That said, let's sing our theme song. Sing with me. Here we go. There, I made a little boo-boo third stanza. But anyway, it's time for our coffee talk so we can spill some tea. Yes. Mm. Go grab yourself a cup of whatever. Come back and join me for some tea spillage. Yes, I got some King's Hawaiian Sweet Rolls to eat with my coffee. <laughs> I love these. This is my favorite bread. I mean, look at them. You can actually put this whole thing in the oven for like five or eight minutes. And it comes out like pan de sal. Except it's sweet. So good. Look how moist it is. Ah. Mm. Mm. and it's great just by itself with nothing in it but sometimes I put cheese like this morning oh I've already had like five of them yeah this was a full package this morning you know there's only half of it left I just love them it goes really good with coffee you can dip it, right? Mmm. Perfect with coffee. Oh, and it's been so hot here in the IE since the summer solstice. Let me tell you, it's intense already, man. It goes triple digits as soon as the sun hits the top of BBH. Yeah. The mockingbirds are shrieking. So hot. And the blue scrubs are like, I, I, I. <laughs> Lavender, the white rooster next door. And his hands are cackling. And it's only Tuesday. The day to decide which way to go. Yeah. Take the next step on your hero's journey and put the energy of your thoughts and feelings in motion. Yeah. Start by opening your Bible and reading Isaiah 55. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the whole chapter, 55, Book of Isaiah. Yeah, for inspiration, for inspiration. To get into the groove, boy, you got to prove your love to me. Yeah, get a 
up on your feet. Yes, yeah, step to the beat. Boy, what will it be? Oh yeah, Madonna. Manifest your vision and create your reality from the desires of your heart. You dig? You know, that's right. Yeah. Hey, let's burn this Nug Champa incense. Let me just eat the, the rest of this. This Nug Champa incense to cleanse our space from low vibrational energies. Guru Deva Om Shining One Lighten up our internal and external worlds and remove all negativities and dispel darkness from our minds and hearts Purify our consciousness Merge with your spirit and bring heaven on earth Amen all righty then, let's put this over here. Okay, the ruling energy of the day is the heart chakra, but I decided to wear a plethora of colors. Yeah, I kept my press on nails on because they didn't fall off. And also for the sacral chakra, our creative center. Creativity is the driving force of inspiration, don't you agree? Let me just show you this dress, right? This dress has been hanging in my closet like forever, but I love it. It has that like flimsy scarf look. And look, it's had the slip underneath it that's red. Yeah, I thought I'd dress up for the Red Planet Mars today with this print. I mean, creative communication, right? Sacral chakra. Creative communication begets love and compassion of the heart. It's romantic, right? So you got to use creativity in every activity. Red is the color of the action planet Mars. So I'm wearing mostly red today and also for the root chakra because we must be securely fixed in the world where we belong to be able to accomplish the mission that we came here on earth for. Conversely, all of our words and deeds must be based on the evergreen heart chakra. Love, soft as an easy chair. Love, fresh as the morning air. Love, ageless and evergreen. Seldom seen by two, you and I must make each day a first. Every day a beginning. Spirits rise and their dances unrehearsed. They warm and excite us. Cause we have the brightest love, ageless and ever, ever green. Our 
Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson, 1976, the year when my brothers and I were reunited and it feels so good. Reunited because we understood. Yeah, I came here to the United States of America in 1972 at the age of 11 with Papa and my eldest brother, L. And then in 1976, my younger brothers, three of them, arrived with a chaperone. 1976 was the year my family and I became whole again. Here in the land of the free. And the home of the brave. Oh yeah, it's almost America's birthday, right? July 4th is Thursday. The day before the new moon in Cancer. Yes. As customary, Big Blue House will be watching the fireworks on the balcony. We will have a more open view of the skies this year because that big pecan tree across the way was finally cut down. Yeah, that tree was huge. It was huge. And it blocked most of the light show, especially the finale and past Independence Day um, celebrations. Yeah. But anyway, the heart chakra <clears throat> is the fourth spinning sphere of energy in our spine that is the center of love and compassion. I call it the sacred heart of Jesus in the center of it all. The nucleus of our faith that holds everything together. The unconditional love of God in Jesus Christ for humanity. That's what the Sacred Heart of Jesus stands for. Yeah, the heart. Between the lower chakras, which represents the physical material world, and the three upper chakras that represent the spiritual ethereal world, right? Right between them. It acts as a bridge to connect heaven and earth, transforming the density of the physical body into the light energy of the spiritual body. And of course, vice versa, you know, combining opposite forces into one, right? To become one, like the systole and diastole of a heartbeat. The inhale and exhale of a breath. The push and the pull of the moon on the tides of the ocean. The contraction and expansion of movement, right? The heart chakra unites divine feminine and masculine energy, right? It unites right here at the center. Unites divine feminine and masculine energies to give birth to an enlightened being, a light body spirit, or a light spirit body, I should say that is the vehicle or chariot of gods to transport consciousness to heavenly dimensions. And the symbol for the heart chakra is here on my chakra shelf. It's a lotus flower with 12 petals surrounding the circle of consciousness. It represent, those 12 petals represent 12 divine qualities of the heart and there's a chant for each one, okay? Come, come bliss, 
kaham, peace. Gum, harmony. Gaham, love. Ngum, understanding. Chum, empathy. Chaham, clarity. Jum, purity. Chaham, unity. Niam, compassion. Tum, kindness. And tum, or tum, forgiveness. Okay? In Sanskrit, the heart chakra is called anahata, meaning unhurt, unstruck, unbeaten, because love conquers all. The heart chakra is devotion to the love of God in yourself and others. It reminds me of Sandy Olsen, played by Olivia Newton-John in Greece. That scene when she goes out to the front porch of her house in her white nightgown, and she sings, But now there's nowhere to hide Since you pushed my love aside I'm out of my head Hopelessly devoted to you. Hopelessly devoted to you. Hopelessly devoted to you. Oh yeah, I love that movie, Grease. The original. But yeah, so the heart chakra. Okay, the sacred geometry, which is right here at the center of the circle of consciousness, is the Merkaba. Merkaba is a Hebrew word that means chariot, right? And translated literally, Mer is light, Ka is spirit, and Ba is body. So light, spirit, body, right? So if you look at it on this two-dimensional flat surface, <coughs> it's a star of David, <clears throat> a six-pointed star, right? A hexagram depicted on the center of Israel's flag. But the three-dimensional form is called a star tetrahedron, a.k.a. Merkaba, okay, and it's two tetrahedrons. So here's my paper model of a tetrahedron. It's a pyramidal base pyramid with three triangular sides. So there are four sides to this pyramid and all sides are triangular shape, okay? It's made, the Merkaba or star tetrahedron is made up of two of these. Okay, one pointing up, which represents male energy, and the other pointing down, which represents female energy, okay? But each of those um, tetrahedrons spin in opposite direction to the other, okay? So the one pointing up spins clockwise and the one pointing down spins counterclockwise. I don't know if I'm doing it in the right direction, but their combined spin generate an electromagnetic field of energy that opens up a portal hole to the spiritual dimension of divine love and that sacred space of the all in all. Okay, here's my mandala for the root, solar plexus, and heart chakra. See? Red for the root, yellow for the solar plexus, and the rest is dark green for the heart chakra. 
This mandala is called Magic Art, designed by Wizard of Loops and crocheted by me, Mama Magic369, on Insta. Okay, so let's put that back up there on the wall. Yeah, the mantra for the heart chakra is yum. And the hand position is left hand over the heart, like you do when you say the Pledge of Allegiance, right? And then the other hand to the side. You know, you can hold it like this or like this. But yum. So inhale first, right? And then at the exhale, chant the mantra for the heart chakra, yum. Here we go. Yum. Just visualize that green light, you know, emanating, opening up that heart chakra, right? It's that sound vibration that opens, activates, and balances the heart chakra. Open your heart to me, baby. I hold the lock and you hold the key. Open your heart to me, darling. I give you love if you, you turn the key. My girl Madonna, holla! Yes. Now it's time for Reading Corner. So gather around, kids, and let me read to you from this book. The Secret Teaching of Jesus Christ by Jill L. Warner. Butterflies in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. I can go anywhere, friends to know and ways to grow a reading rainbow. I can be anything. Take a look, it's in a book. A reading rainbow, a reading rainbow. Okay, so let's pick up where we left off yesterday, shall we? Here we go. <clears throat> Jesus said, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. That's from John 10, 9 through 10. Jesus is your heart. Your own heart is the doorway of eternal life and your ego or the idea I am my body or I am me is the thief. Dun, dun, dun. Jesus points out that if you enter through the door of your heart, you will discover the infinite pasture of eternal life. God is the door. Jesus is the door. You are the door. One door leads to life. If you listen to the voice of your ego, you will not see the door that leads you to eternity. But if you're willing to stop everything just for a moment and look to see what comes before the primordial thought, I, you will have entered this door to eternal life and will have begun to walk on the razor's edge. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me as the father knows me 
and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, and I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will heed my voice. So there shall be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This charge I have received from my Father. That's John 10, 14 through 18. Jesus is surrender. He laid down his life so that the truth of eternal life could be revealed. God is the good shepherd. Jesus is the good shepherd. You are the good shepherd. If and only if you are willing to surrender to the infinite grace that is alive at the core of your being. This is the ultimate demonstration of faith. To see the source of the life that is within you. Who is at the core? Who is present before the I thought? Letting go of who you think you are is the greatest surrender of all. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. That's from John 6, 35. God is the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. You are the bread of life. Find the source of this bread and you will see God. Jesus illustrates, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. John six fifty one. Okay. Eating this bread is surrender. It is merging with a source, merging with God. Jesus is holy communion, the bread of eternal life. Communion is um, like a river meeting the ocean. When a river meets an ocean, the river becomes the ocean. In holy communion, you're like a drop of water falling into the ocean of light, becoming one with its infinite grace. In this ocean, you will never thirst, Jesus explains. It is the spirit that gives life. The flesh is of no avail. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. That's from the Gospel of John 6.63. Jesus points to the source of life itself. It is within you, at the core of your being. God is the living bread of your heart, the eternal food of the soul. Jesus said, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes, he takes away and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. That one is from John 15, 1 through 4. We'll stop right there. <clears throat> That's a good place to start. We'll pick that up again tomorrow, okay? But I want to show you the... Um, the back page of this book. This is a Bible study book by Priscilla Shirer on the armor of God from Ephesians 6, 10 through 19. Yeah, mi nuera, mi hita, Cindy Conley gave this to me and we studied the armor of God together on Zoom. Yeah, it was fantastic. We haven't finished. I think we were like maybe halfway through, but for some reason we had to stop but I, I highly recommend this book for those of you who want to apply the power within 
to face the spiritual battle here in the material world. But I want to show you the back cover of that book I tore off because I'm using it as a visual to show how I modified it, right? She was the one who um, had the Roman soldier. She drew um, an image of a Roman soldier garbed with his warfare weapons, right? But then um, I labeled each part that coincide with the parts of the armor of God, right? And then I drew in the symbols for the seven primary chakras of our core and connected them with those parts of the armor of God. Okay, for example, the heart chakra, which is the ruling energy of the day, corresponds with the breastplate of righteousness. Okay, it protects the heart from evil and deception because it's the righteousness of Christ, right? It's the righteousness of Jesus Christ at the center of your salvation. But before we put on the breastplate of righteousness, we have to make sure that the belt of truth corresponding with the sacral chakra is securely in place. as well as the root, which corresponds with the shoes of readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, the grounding force of our faith, our solid foundation, the Bible, okay? Then the solar plexus can serve and protect us with the shield of faith, right? Confident in our belief that we are soldiers for Christ, standing up for the word of God. Then you have the throat chakra, right? For the word of God. It goes with the sword of the spirit, the Bible. Spreading the truth of the gospel, the good news that Jesus is Lord, our savior, our friend, our brother in Christ, right? And you have the third eye the wisdom and internal navigation system of our being, the Holy Spirit who counsels us and tugs on our heartstrings to guide us on the right path. Isaiah 30, 20 to 22 says, although the Lord gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, your teachers will be hidden no more. With your own eyes, you will see them. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Okay, then we come to the Ark of the Covenant, right? Because I connected the parts of the tabernacle of God with the seven primary chakras also. And as you can see, I labeled the seventh chakra, the crown chakra, the Ark of the Covenant in the Holy of Holies, right? The crown chakra corresponds with the helmet of salvation that I know that I know that I know Jesus Christ paid the price and sacrifice just as if I never sinned. Yeah. Romans 8, 1 states, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Okay. So clear your central core of light from densities and darkness. Right? Clear it. By chanting the mantras for all seven primary chakras. Lam, vam, ram, yam, ham, sham, aum. Stop the madness of the material world and exit the external environment by closing your eyes. You know, shut out the 
the external by closing your eyes and turn on the light in your temple. Yeah, the third eye chakra will open when you close your external eyes and lights up the place, right? And relax by deeping, by breathing deeply. Maybe the first three or four in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then after that, just through the nose, you know, just like getting that, get your brain wave in that meditative state inhaling and exhaling as you chant the mantras for all seven chakras lam vam ram yam ham sham aum yeah connect with earth and sky right to generate that rainbow bridge that unites everything there is to be in communion with God and in tune with the frequency of the universe. Align your will with the good and perfect will. God's perfect plan for your life, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you, to give your future and a hope. Feel good, feel God. Okay, I leave you now with these Bible passages to reflect on today. Jesus said in the Gospel of John 13, verse 34, Love one another just as I have loved you. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Finally, Psalm 103, 2 to 4. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Okay, I end the show with the ringing of my solar plexus mini meditation bowl to sound the call to arms, right? Regulators, mount up! Rum. 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 Okay, that's all I have for you today. And as usual, and always, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.